everyone welcome back to my channel and this is Aisha Sheikh well I'm sure you know that we have a Facebook group and we are highly active there we regularly post teaching strategies which are very helpful for parents and you can join as well by just clicking on the link given in the description below do you know what we are going to learn in today's video we are just going to reinforce the concept of time I've already posted videos on o'clock and half past I think a year back you can definitely view them and the links are in the description again. What is going to be new in today's video? All right, so we are going to have a worksheet and we are both going to work together on that. So in that way, you can get enough practice you need to learn time. So in today's video, the prime focus will be o'clock and half past. Furthermore, I'm going to make videos on quarter past and quarter two as well. And also how to read the time in minutes okay let's begin can you see the time here where's the long hand it's on 12 and where's the short hand it's on 9 do you know what is this long hand called it's called the minute hand and what about the short hand it's called the hour hand now can you try reading the time here it's very easy when the long hand is on 12, we say it as o'clock. So always when you read the time, first check the long hand. And where is the long hand now? It's on 12. So what would be the time here? The time is 9 o'clock. 9, 9 o'clock. Okay, now look at this. So we've got a time here. The long hand is on 12. And the short hand is on 6. When the long hand is on 12, what do we say? We say it as o'clock. This is how you write. O'clock. Alright. Now the short hand is on 6. And how do we read this time? We say this as 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. So that's how you write 6 o'clock. This is also called as the analog time. Okay. Oopsie, it's analog. Okay. Now, what's an analog time? Analog time is this, where you see the hands. Okay. And there's another kind of clock, wherein you do not have the hands. And you know what it is called? It's called the digital time, like you have in your phones and some of the wristwatches as well. Okay. So, how would you write 6 o'clock? This is how you write. This is the digital time, 6, 0, 0. O'clock is represented as 0, 0. Now, there's another thing. All right, look at the time here. Where's the long hand? The long hand is on 6 and the short hand is between 7 and 8. Do you know what do we say when the long hand is on 6? We say this as half past. What do we say? Half past. Now, is the time going to be half past seven or half past eight? Hmm, that sounds a bit tricky. Don't worry. I've got a solution to this. When the long hand is on six, of course, we say it as half past. But when the short hand is between two numbers, always note that you need to tell the smaller number. Okay, the smaller number here is seven. So the time here will be half past seven. So... Like I said earlier, we always look at the smaller number. To be honest, that rule doesn't apply here. If you see, the shorthand is between 12 and 1. And 1 is definitely smaller than 12. But we do not say this as half past 1. Instead, we say this as half past 12. So there are two ways you can remember the trick. Either you can look for the small number and only when it is between 12 and 1, you can exclude that. Or... You can always look at the first number which comes in the clockwise direction. Okay, this is how the hands of the clocks move. And when you go in the clockwise direction, 12 always comes before 1. So the time here is half past, half past 12. Okay, now when the long hand is on 6, we say half past. And when the short hand is between two numbers, we always look at the smaller number. So the time is half past 7. Now, that was the analog way of saying the time. Now, how about the digital way? Half past means 30 minutes. Do you know that one hour has 60 minutes and half of 60 is 
30 minutes. So we mention 30 whenever we talk about half past. Okay. So this is the second way of writing the time. The 7.30. Half past is written this way. 30. For o'clock it was 00. zero. For half past it is 30. Alright. You must have seen here that we have written half past before the number 7. Unlike o'clock. O'clock usually comes at the end. But half past comes in the beginning. Like 6 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. It always comes after the number. Half past comes before. Like half past 7, half past 12, half past 3, etc. Okay, so how do we write half past 7? We write it as 7.30. And what is the third way of writing the time? So we can also mention this way. 30 minutes past 7. 30 minutes past 7. Okay. Now let's have the worksheet here. This is the worksheet. Okay. Let's discuss this together. Okay. So we are going to first look at the long hand, then the short hand. All right. And we are going to write both the time, analog as well as the digital time. Now the first one here. Where's the long hand? The long hand is on 12 and the small, the short hand is on 3. So what's the time? Easy peasy, isn't it? 12, that means it's called o'clock. So the time here is 3 o'clock. And what's the digital time? It's 3 and 0, 0. Okay? Now, what's the time here? The long hand is on 6 and the short hand is between 11 and 12. Long hand is on 6. So we say it as half past. And since it's between 11 and 12, we look at the smaller number. And the smaller number or the number that comes in the, the number that comes first in the clockwise order is 11. So what's the time here? It's half past 11. So let's write half past 11. Also written as 11.30. Okay, now this one. Long hand is on 12 and the short hand is on 11. So what's the time? Easy peasy, 11 o'clock. Also written as 11.00. Now here. What's the time here? Long hand is on 6 and the short hand is between 3 and 4. So what's the time here? The time is half past what? 4? No. Look at the smaller number or look at the number that comes first in the clockwise order. 3 is the number that comes first or it's a smaller number you can say. So half past 3 and that is also written as 3, 30. Alright. So how about this? The long hand is on 6 and the short hand is between 12 and 1. So what's the time here? Remember that rule I told you? The sh a smaller number rule does not apply here. So we look at the Number that comes first in the clockwise order. And here 12 comes first. So what's the time? We say this as half past 12. And the digital time is 12.30. That's it. Well, if you like our video, do like, share and subscribe. And shower love. Don't forget to spread kindness. God bless.